Good morning, everyone. It's June 29th, 2024, and this is FSD Supervised 12.4.1 on test loop one. I am using the Automax. As you can see, we're, we're coming down pretty fast down this, this uh, road to Plum Canyon. 33 is about the max I'd let it do. In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. I'm glad it's slowing when it sees pedestrians. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, nice. It's pulling right up to the stop line. It is all clear to the left. You can proceed. That's a little longer than it needs to be to creep forward and look, but uh, no traffic, so it did well. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Nice speed control along that route, along that leg. Okay, we got a green. It's taken a while. There we go. It's made a decision to proceed. Okay, we're going to merge. Oh, shoot, it's not going to merge. Okay, this, it's not signaling and doing a proper merge anymore in 12.4.1. speed up to enter the left turn lane there with the car coming behind us. Nice left turn. Okay, there it sees the speed bump. Excellent. 15 miles an hour. Nice speed and control coming up to this vehicle, continuing on to the stop line. That was well done. Good, excellent stop. Quick decision to proceed. Again, nice speed control as we creep up to the car as it was stopping. Not bad. We're continuing on, no delay there. Okay, let's see if it sees the speed bump. It seems to, It's we're not coming up to full speed. You can slow down. In 500 yeah, feet, there it's at the last left second. Onto Copper Hill Drive. We'll overcorrected a little bit with speed reduction, but at least it went over the speed bump slower. Okay, there is a speed bump at the crest of this hill. Let's see if it spots it. Now turn left nope. onto Copper Hill. Missed that speed bump. Okay, now keep going, keep going up to that stop line. There we go. Okay, we got a car from the right and another one way back. It can go after this vehicle if it proceeds. Okay, it hesitated, so now we have to wait. So not quite an efficient left there, but a safe one. Now, it's still pulling into this suicide lane. Oh, but it is pulling out of it this time with no turn signal. So a slight improvement there. However, it should just go right into that lane. It is also 45 and I've got a car coming up behind me pretty fast, so I'm just gonna tap the accelerator. Still some speed issues where it's, where it's getting random speed data from somewhere and I'm not sure where.
Okay, nice acceleration on the green. Nice turn. Sometimes it cuts that turn a little short. Okay, very nice acceleration up to not quite 45. <laughs> like to see this be doing up at the speed limit. There's no one behind me, no one in front of me. It's kind of going a little slow, but it's fine. It's safe. Okay, so a pickup truck pulled in behind us. Let's see what it does to the speed as he catches up to us, because he will not be doing 41 on this road. It's interesting, it's starting to accelerate as that pickup truck catches up to us. And it's still a ways away and it's it's accelerating for them, which is good to see. Okay, nice deceleration for the yellow into red. Nice acceleration from a stop there. Kind of hesitated at 41 and then decided to accelerate some more. Okay, now we've got a green light. Let's see, is it going to last long enough here? Now turn left onto the car is going to stay in the right lane. Nice speed as we approach. Ooh, cutting the turn a little bit here. Okay, I cut that turn a little bit too much. There was no car beside us, so it was fine. And I'm guessing if there was a car there, it would have changed the arc. So, okay, so we're just following this person doing 40 in the, in the 50 zone. I'm surprised the car is not deciding to pass. Now it's getting real close to this guy's bumper. Okay, there's the decision to pass. Now we're moving back in the right lane. Very nice pass. It could have done it a little sooner, but otherwise pretty well executed. The only other thing is it got a little close to his bumper before it decided to change lanes, but that's just getting nitpicky on, it, on how it approached. I'm glad it decided to pass. Now let's see how we're doing on this right turn on the Plum Canyon Road. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Nice entry in the right turn lane. So we're going to have to come to a complete stop for this. I know that Toyota's going to run right through it. So I believe, yeah, traffic from the left. So it can proceed now. Excellent. That was a beautiful stop, observing a car making a left on the cross traffic and proceeding. Now we got to get in the left lane here. There it goes. Thousand feet, turn left onto via Joyce Drive. And our final left turn, it looks like it's a quiet left turn, not enough oncoming traffic. Now turn left onto via Joyce Drive. Oh, wait, there we got some traffic. Okay, it's waiting for everyone to pass, so let's see how it handles this. Ah, not enough to squeeze through anything. So we should start rolling and pull in behind this Honda. Perfect. And there we go, FSD supervised 12.4.1 on test loop one here in Santa Clarita, California.